Okay. Good day, class. Now, today is June 5, 2021. Now, I have six attendees for today. Okay, so before we formally start, let me first ask you if my presentation is visible and is my audio clear, guys? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. So, okay. So, guys, I have here sentences, no? Three sentences. And I like you to observe these sentences and observe them and tell me your observations. You can uh, just unmute your mic or you can maximize the Google Meet chat box for your answer. I will give you a minute, guys, okay? Ma'am? Yes, Mr. An Anthony? Okay, Ma'am, I observed that Highlighted words are always followed by the verb. Ooh, very good observation. So the highlighted words are always were always followed by the verb. Another another observation? Mom. Yes, Keisha. Mom, I think the highlighted words were used to modify the main words. Ooh, very good. So let us know what these highlighted words are so yes the highlighted words in the sentences that I asked you to observe you know, a while ago are called the model verbs model verbs are auxiliary verbs and are also called the helping verbs and as uh, Keisha said earlier now as her observation it adds meaning to the main verb in a sentence so um, Model verbs. Well, apparently, uh, model verbs may mean different meanings. Now, these are possibility, certainty, obligation, permission, offer, request, necessity, promise, decision, advice, suggestion, ability, and general truth. So, there are numerous, no numerous. A purpose, numerous use of model verbs. Um, so, what are you going to do to, to not to be confused? Of course, what you have to do is to understand thoroughly what the, uh, what you got, the model verb is used for, so that you're going to get the real context of the sentence, right? So you have to analyze the sentence. Okay, so. Um, now you are aware of the different um, meaning, no? different uses of model ver verbs. But for today, we are going to focus on possibility and certainty. Namely, may, might, could, must, must have, can't, and can't have. So, first is for, let's go to possibility. Okay. Possibility. Again, you know, I have here examples. And I want you guys again to look at these sentences and again observe the highlighted words. You know, and tell me, how, how do you think is it associated with possibility? You know? Let me begin. Number one, where is Mr. Del Rosario? He is not in his office. He may be in the bathroom or he might be in the conference room. So, meaning, maybe, no, someone is looking for Mr. Del Rosario and someone answered that he is not in his office. May is used for possibility. So, meaning, there is a possibility that Mr. Del Rosario is in the bathroom and there is also, might, no, there is a possibility that Mr. Del Rosario is in the conference room. Now, got it? Do you get it, guys? Oh. Okay, very good. So, who would like to try number two? Next sentence. Who would like to try number two? Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Okay, let me answer number two. No. 
do not eat that mushroom. It could be poisonous. So the highlighted word is could, right? Meaning, no, associating it with possibility, meaning there is a possibility that that mushroom is poisonous. Do you get me? Okay. Would like to try the next um, sentence. Ma yes, Genevieve. The weather forecast says it may rain tomorrow. Ma according to the weather forecast, there is a possibility that it is going to rain tomorrow. Okay, very good. So, the model used is the word may, right? Oh. Next, number four, guys. Would like to try. Ma yes, Keisha? Okay. Yes, Keisha, of course. Irene may have misunderstood you talk to him. Irene misunderstood you when you were talking to her yesterday. Very good. So, the last sentence. Uh, Ma'am. Yes, Mr. Lumiares. The person who stole documents could had could have been one of the employees. Okay. So the model use is could. Okay. Now, for models for possibility, no guys, take note that we can use the words may, might, and could to talk about things that are passable in the present and future. Possibility only meaning a chance. There is only a chance, no? So, um, always remember that the structure, the pattern should be model verb followed by the base form of the verb. When we say base verb, it means it is the present form of the verb, right? So, it should be the models may or might or could and it is always and it, and it should always be followed by the base form of the verb. Okay, next. Okay, so. Okay, I have here sentences, guys. Who would like to read the sentences for present? I have here sentences. Yes, Kristen Joyce. Um, where is Mr. De Rosario? He is not in his office. He may be in the bathroom or he might be in the conference room. Okay, just like our example a while ago. Another. Do not eat that mushroom. It could be poisonous. Now, for the future, would like to read for the sentence for our sentences in the future. Ma'am. Yes, Mr. Lumiares. Weather forecast says it may rain tomorrow. Fine. Okay. Continue, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. We might have a road trip this weekend. Lola could submit the papers late. Okay. So, again, guys, observe the pattern, okay? So, the models, no, may or might or could, should always be followed by the base form of the verb, no? As you can observe here model plus the base form of the verb that is for present and future now let's uh let's go to the past no for past no for present and future uh, we are aware that it um the model should always be followed by the base verb now for past possibility it should be like this no might have or may have or could have Followed by the past participle. Take note of this. Uh, for past, always past participle. Well, that is for positive possibilities. On the other hand, guys, to show negation, of course, you're going to add the word not. So, it should be might not have or may not have or could not have followed by the past participle of the verb. You get it, guys? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. So, that is for... Uh, past possibility. Let me give you examples. Okay, so my presentation is quite slow now. So, who would like to read the examples for positive past? 
Ma'am? Yes, Miss Keisha? Okay. For first sentence, she's not home. She might have gone to the store. Second, the started this project earlier. We could have finished on time. Very good. Thank you for reading. So, meaning, again, the meaning of um, the essence, no? the sense of possibility is still there, no? Might and could, meaning there is a possibility. But because it is positive past, no? Might followed by have, followed by the past participle of the verb. Do you get it? Now, let us go to the negative past. Who would like to read the sentences? Negative past. Ma'am? Yes, Miss Genevieve? John's not here. He might not have known about the meeting. Okay. Should I continue, ma'am? Yes. If she hasn't called you back, she may not have listened to your voicemail yet. She couldn't have taken the car. She doesn't have a key. Okay, so as you can observe, no, might and to show negation, no, always remember that to show negation, you're just going to add the word not, right? So, um, might or may or could, um, because they're the model verb, followed by the negation, which is not, followed by have, and the past participle of the verb. Um, for couldn't, no, we all know naman that could plus not, no, so not is still the negation. So, that was for the negative past. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now, is everything clear about possibility, guys? Yes, ma'am. Very good. So now, let us move on to certainty. Um, maybe um, some of you guys are asking, Ma'am, what is the difference between possibility and certainty? Now, as I have mentioned earlier, when we say possibility, there is only a chance. No, not 100%. On the other hand, when we say certainty, it indicates being sure. No, it indicates being one hundred percent certain. No, now do you get that? Okay, so I have examples here. Okay, I have here an example. For example, if you see this woman, can you see the picture of a woman here? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so if you see this woman. She must be a policewoman, and she can't be a chef. Um, do you think, uh, can you please, what can you observe about my sentence? Ma'am, you are sure okay. that the, the girl was a policewoman since you okay. saw her in a yes. police uniform. Yeah, so you're very good. Thin, okay, so meaning, I use must no because i am certain i am showing being sure no that that woman in the picture is a police woman because of her uniform so there is an evidence and i am sure also no that that woman isn't a chef right so i use the words must and can't she must be a police woman and she can't be a chef next Okay, so take note of this, that we use must if we are sure that something is true and can't if we are sure that something is not true, just like our example um, a while ago. So next, okay, so I have here another example. Aurelio works every day from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Right now, it is 1.30 p.m., so... He must be at work, and he can't be at home. No meaning. Who would like to explain my sentences here? The two um, sentences using model verbs. Meaning, you are sure, no? Since you know already schedule that it is seven to five. Meaning, you are sure you are that. Sure. Yes. Yes. Continue. You are okay. sure, meaning that you were sure you are sure that Aurelio is at work at okay. that time. Now that okay. you use the words must and can't for certainty. Okay, very good. So you are sure since you know your schedule, but right now it's only one thirty. Meaning you are 
um, you are showing certainty, no, that Aurelia is at work right now and he can't be at home. Okay, next. Well, that was for present um, future. Now, when we consider some present evidence and draw a reasonably certain conclusion about what happened in the past, we use, no, again, we use um, the model verb. The model verb, verbs for certainty are must and can, no? So now, we should use must and could. So, must have or could have followed by the past participle of the verb. Again, that is for uh, positive certainty. On the other hand, again, to show uh, negation, again, you're just going to add the word not. So, must or could, because it's past, no? the past form of can. So, could, followed by negation, not, plus have, followed by the past participle of the verb. Is everything clear, guys? Yes, Can you follow or is mom too fast? No, mom. Okay, thank you. Okay, next. Okay. That's great. So, who would like to read our examples in positive past? Ma'am? Yes? Miss Genitive? Harry got a perfect score. He must have spent a lot of time reviewing his lesson. Okay. There was one apple left, but now it's gone. My sister must have eaten it. Good. How about for negative past? Who would like to read? None. Yes, Mr. Ramirez, you're very active today, huh? Keep Thank it you, ma'am. Yeah. The clothes are still dirty. It must not have washed them yet. Ed so, must not have washed them yet. Megan couldn't have taken your money. She wasn't even in home yesterday. Okay, so... For sentence number one, guys, what have you observed with the structure, the the um, the pattern we used? Ma'am. Yes, Keisha. Uh, I observe. I observe, ma'am, that for the first sentence, must followed by have, and then the past participle is used. Oh, very good. Very good. Next for the next exact next sentence. What can you observe with um, the, the structure? Ma'am. Yes, Mr. Lumiaris again. I observe that must and then have and then the past participle, ma'am, which is even. Okay, but take note, not, you're not, of course, you're not only focused on um, the structure. Of course, you're, you have to make, you know, be aware of still the the use, no, the meaning of. You have to be sure that it is still for certainty, right? Because as we have learned earlier, that um, model verbs have several, no, or numerous uh, meanings. So, it, um, it is you have you should be very mindful that it is still for certainty. So, meaning you are very sure, no that something has happened. Now, for negative past, no? what can you observe with sentence number three? The clothes are still dirty. Ed must not have washed them yet. Who would like to um, give his observation? Yes, Mr. Lamiares, is your microphone? No. Yes. Yes. Um, um, I observe in the uh, example sentence that the clothes are still dirty, so you are certain that Ed must not have washed it. And also, in the third sentence, in the structure, must plus not for negativity, okay, plus have, good. and then the past participle, which is wash man. Very good. So another, Miss Kristen Joyce, for the last sentence. Uh, man couldn't have taken your money. She wasn't even in home yesterday. Just like what Anthony said, it was um, certain or, su or sure that Megan could have taken the money because okay. he was not, she was not at home. Okay. So that we will use the negation for certainty not. which yeah, could okay. not. Very good. Huh? Uh, is everything clear, guys? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, very ma good. Yes, okay, thank you. So, if everything, uh, any question, any other question about our topic? None, ma'am. None, ma'am. Okay, very good. So, if that's the case, let us now put it into practice. Okay. Okay. Must or can't? Who would like to answer number one? He blank be a vegetarian. Observe the picture attached here. What do you think is the answer? He blank be a vet. Uh, yes, Mr. Lamieres, the most active student. Um, I think the answer is must man. He must be a vegetarian. Okay, because you are certain that yes, this yes. man isn't a vegetarian because if she if he is a vegetarian he should be eat he should be eating vegetables right okay very good how about okay next two they blank be in love so observe the picture what do you think is the answer Ma'am. the model verb Ma yes kristen joyce what do you think is the answer yes ma'am i think the answer is must Okay, they must be in love, meaning you are showing certain Tino that the couple is in love. Very good. Another, next. So, I am grateful that, you no, know, everything is clear. Now, fill in, the, you, uh, what you have to do is to fill in the blank with must have. Well, if you think it happened, it must not have. On the other hand, if it didn't happen or couldn't have, if you think it is impossible so it is possibility now who would like to answer number three yes miss genevieve the tip must have gotten in through the window okay meaning there's a possibility that the tip gone to the window based on the picture ma'am of a broken okay. window okay or you are showing certain you know i think Okay. Meaning, as you can observe in the picture, the one who uh, gotten in through the window is the thief. Okay, very good. Next. Mm -hmm. I smell bread baking. There blank be a bakery nearby. What do you think of the answer? Ma'am. Yes, Miss Keisha? I think the answer for is must. Smell must. bread baking. There must be a baker in your body. Very good. Meaning, no? Okay. I smell bread baking. There's a, uh, a bakery there because uh, the our key smell uh, bread baking. Okay. Very good. Next, I blank go to the party if I finish my homework. Who would like to answer? What do you think is the model verb suited for this? Ma'am? Yes, Miss Genevieve? I might go to the party if I finish my homework. Okay, very good. Might to show only a chance, not certainty, right? Because there is a possibility that you're going to the party and also there is a possibility that you're not going if you won't finish your homework, right? So, meaning, you are not sure. Very good. Miss Genevieve, next. Last, I think this, um, last three items. Okay. Okay. Please blank be, a last, be my last meeting with this office. I'm switching jobs soon. What do you think is the suited um, model verb here? No. Yes, Mr. Lemiares? Um, I think this is the moral bar. Ah. So, um, this could be my last meeting with this office. I'm switching jobs soon. Meaning? Okay. It is for possibility. Okay, next. This blank be Tom's house. His house is brown. Do you um, think you're going to use... Model for certainty or possibility? Yes, Miss Genevieve? The answer is Kent, ma'am. This okay. can't be Tom's house. This house is brown. Very good. Meaning, because you are aware of how Tom's house looks, right? So, you are showing certainty 
that that house, that white house, let's say, no, isn't Tom's. Okay, very good. And the last one, it black could be a good day for a picnic. Who would like to try? Yes, Miss Keisha, would you like to answer? Yes, Paul. Uh, my answer it may not. It may not be a good day picnic. It's cloudy and a bit chilly. Chilly, very good. It may be. So, maybe for possibility. Very good, guys. So, um, as we put the, as we put the our lesson into practice, you have answered it very well. So, is there any question, guys, regarding our topic, possibility of certainty? No, ma'am. Okay, if that's the None case, known. let us call it a day. And thank you guys for, atten uh, for attending our class. Now, tomorrow we'll meet again for another Muse of Mother. But thank you guys. Thank, thank you so you much. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.